Swamp, Smoka, with, with Pytum, Red Dead Redemption 2. Boom. T-shirt out. Let's play. Welcome to Strawberry. Darn hitting. Tips Fedora. Tips Cowboy Hat. I don't know what words are spewing from my mouth. Just anything to fill the silence. Let's see, I know we have to, to go down into the, behind the water fountain, <laughs> waterfall, not water, what the, what is my brain tonight? Finish off the dream catcher, whatever. I didn't have to deal with those alerts every single time I load this fucking game. Cave entrance for a tootin' moment. Yeah. A rootin' tootin' moment. That feller was going for a ride. Yeah, that 
Hopefully I don't get to take the bear, cougar. Bring a double barrel carbine. Stuck using the electric. Yeah, I have to keep going until I come to an opening. It's like a buffalo pain. Alrighty. Funny that you have to come here twice. 
two separate things. One for a treasure map and another time for whatever the fuck I just came here for. Oh, I can't see. I love the way Arthur falls. gonna do with an ancient arrowhead. Ammo lasts twice as long when using the bow. Oh. Okay. Um. To Sadie. Miss Sadie Adler. Oh well, Mrs. Sadie. Yeah. Now she is single. Which means there's a change. for the trap. Making me drop my hat and shit. How rude. Yep. 
When will they ever learn? I've killed so goddamn many Murphy Brood. And still they do not learn. They refuse to learn. No matter how many times I kill them. Sounded like the sound call of freedom. Come on. Eagle Screech! There, mister. Yeah. Oh, there, mister. <laughs> Best line of dialogue ever made. See, is the truth. How to make them a group. You'd run off to join the circus. Huh? Circus? No. There's an optional missing mission. It shows up. Kieran's dead. <laughs> Hopefully, maybe sleeping till like. Evening.
Yep, there it is. Oh, we got two. Yeah, available at evening. Okay. I'm gonna do Dutch, I think. First. I'm assuming the demon Dutch. You have a dog? You okay, boy? Hey, boy. Whose dog is this? Oh no, not Dutch. Pearson. Sure, old man. Ah, enough of that old man nonsense. I'm in the prime of my life. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> How you getting now? Bored. You see that swamp, Arthur? That's God's own pantry. What are we eating? Venison? Come on. Let's go gather some crawfish. See what else we can get. Crawfish? Yeah, crawfish. Finest eating there is. It's not just crawfish. No. Oh, I can't There's remember last time I've had crawfish. They'll eat a feller for fun. Oh, Arthur. I thought you were a man. No, sir. Huh. When it comes to prehistoric monsters, I am very much a coward. <laughs> Whew. Head for those trees across from us and we'll take a look. On the starboard side. What? My left, your right. This is a boat, Arthur. Okay. Whatever you say. Okay, <laughs> go slow so I can see. My eyes aren't what they used to be. No, no, ground is too high here. Keep following the shoreline. What exactly are we looking for? We're looking for low ground and a lot of muck. Sit over there. Here? Yeah, yeah, come on. There's more than crawfish in these waters. Stop your whining, please. It's beneath you. This is the place. Now tell me, Arthur, have you ever burnt the cow? No. It's nothing like that, but it's equally as gruesome if you're squeamish. Pull in just behind you. You're really selling this, aren't you? <laughs> now do you see this hole? Yep. Well, it's sort of like a natural trap. Just want to stick your hand and watch. And there. <laughs> there, you see. Good. Well, seems easy enough. Uh-huh. Let's go find another hole. So, how long were you in the Navy? Oh, years. Well, it must have been a year, at least. Or close to that. That's quite a range. All water under the bridge now. No pun intended. Oh, look there. Another crayfish hole. You see it? I got a crayfish in my pack, too, mister. Pulled one out not too long ago. You try ago. this time, Arthur. And remember to reach down deep and get right in there. Uh -huh. I like to dig in, the little blighters. Best not to think about it too much. Oh, I got something. Nicely done. Why don't you see if there's any more down there? There we go. Go on. One more squelch what down I there can't hurt. <laughs> okay, come on. Let's try another hole. Won't be much of a gumbo if we don't find some more. of other creatures there those skaters yeah three well, they three won't bother us unless we go near the water nests. so gator eggs really valuable even better eating i'd love cooking with them 
Okay. Tell you what. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side of him. I can just shoot him. All their attention. And then run like hell. Now, assuming I don't get eaten, you go plunder the nests. That's your plan? You're <laughs> madder than I thought. Shh. I've done it before in Sumatra. It's easy. I've heard that line before. Oh, ye of little faith. Wait here, Mr. Morgan. I don't think gators would follow. They'd probably stay near the nest. I don't know a thing. Ooh. All right, sir, take us back to the dock. Excellent. That's what I call teamwork. I don't think I've ever seen you move that fast. People pay a lot of money for those eggs. I'm told there's a collector in San Denis who gives. I've already met with him. For, them. for millinery, of all things. Yeah, a man of oh. quite a character. Well, this has been very pleasant. Very pleasant indeed. That was fun. Uh, I must get out more. Is that your idea of fun, is it? <sighs> oh, what? Why's hey. a gun out? Here, have some crawfish. I'll give you some of those eggs. <laughs> 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 hey, maybe you could hatch that. Get yourself a new friend. There's a thought. A new reptilian best buddy. To replace Mike, I suppose. Yeah. <laughs> I mean... Would definitely prefer it over Mike. I that prefer. There he is. Evening, Mr. Morgan. You. How you doing, Abigail? My, my, I do like this new haircut of yours. Why, thank you, ma'am. Oh, uncle. It's That's nice it. place you brought us to, my brother. Yes. Lovely, isn't it? Uh, makes me miss freezing to death in the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Arthur! Arthur, get over here! What do you want? Well, don't be like that. This is a good one. Yeah, it always is with you. Until we start getting shot at. Oh, well, have you ever been shot at by a cow? Whose cows? This drunken rancher up at Hill Haven Ranch. He's such a flop that we could take a whole marching band up there and steal, and he still wouldn't wake up. And he's a son of a bitch. He said unkind things about me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all bad then. I, I <laughs> owe you after last time. This could be my make good. I don't know. I need you. You know those two bastards that buy stolen livestock. Sure, I know them. I don't like them. <clears throat> I'll give you 
Sixty percent of the take. How many cows? Yeah, <laughs> that was quick. I don't know, small herd, I guess. Twenty maybe. Twenty, huh? Come on. <laughs> Bonding with Uncle. Okay, let's mount up. So where's this ranch? Right in the middle of Scarlet Meadows, just past the road's turn off. Oh, come on, what'd you stop for? So, how'd you find Waiting out about on you, this place? Uncle? I've been hanging around the saloon and roads a bit. Roads? Yeah, the, the barkeep there gossips like a fish wire. And a couple of times he's mentioned how this rancher's a fall down drunk these days. Sounds like he don't know his ass from his armpit half the time. <laughs> You sure you ought to be hanging around roads after everything that happened? What do you mean? I mean, Uncle, that ain't gonna do your health no good if they find out you ride with us. Nah, it's fine. I was never there at the same time as you boys, and they'd never reckon on a distinguished old feller like me running with a bunch of reprobates. Well, just be careful. How old are you anyway? <laughs> Sometime between the fall of 49 and the fall of Rome. <laughs> and my second wife always used to describe me as ageless, though she did leave me for a younger man. Hmm. Well, maybe we should cut you open and count the rings of whiskey. Now I'm ready for my retirement, though. <laughs> Let me tell you, you've been pretty much retired from the moment I met you. Now, I mean the tropics, you know, the real deal. What the Dutch is talking about. That's why I jumped on this opportunity. The sooner we get enough money to leave, the better. Dancing girls with flowers in their hair, warm sand, cold beer. <laughs> That's how I'm going to see out my days. Well, I'll believe it when I see it. Ugh. I've been to this ranch before. Yes, All sir. right, let's get up there on foot from here. Don't want the horses clopping around outside the window. Come, let's take a closer look. Looks like they got a guard outside. Oh shit! Look over there. The hell? Who are these clowns? I don't know. This is the first time I ever seen anyone else here. Let's sneak up closer. What? Where the hell are you going? I think I got a plan. I love when I hear those words. Hurry up. I'm doing the best I can. So shut up. Hurry up and be quiet. Ow. You said he was a drunkard. You said that, that we could play the fiddle and we wouldn't wake him. I was talking in a metaphor. Now hurry up. Oh, what's a metaphor? You're a jackass. That's a metaphor. Well, you're a son of a bitch. Well, that ain't one. <laughs> now, now, now get back to looking out. And shut up. So, what now? I thought you had a plan. I ain't so sure now. Christ. I'll take care of him. You hear that? It ain't nothing. Oh, I heard something. Hurry up. How can I hear anything with all your speaking? You are gonna wake him up. Oh, oh, I'm doing the... I was trying to do it stealthy like. But I guess that don't matter. Well, come on, you, you better break the padlock. My lock picking skills ain't what they used to be. What a surprise. That was loud. Yeah, well, we ain't got time. 
You said he ain't gonna wake up, and we ain't seen him yet. I'll get him out. Right up next to the house to keep him from running off on us. I hate hurting though. Be real bad if the train just decided to come rolling on. Let's get it going. Yeehaw! And all that. Come on, buddy. Oh no, he's little. I wait with the herd. Oh, one's got away from us. Hey, get, get with the herd. Good boy. Get with him. Good job. Good job. For a second, I thought it was glitching. Well, hey there. What you got? Cattle. Well, I can see that. Whose cattle? Yours now, if the price is right. Well, I can give you uh, hmm. 50 bucks. Okay. 50 bucks each times uh, 20 cattle. No, no, 50 total. <laughs> This is old Squeer's cattle. He knows me. I can't do better than that. I'll have to move him right away. We'll take 200, friend. But I got costs. Mm. 150. 75 and not a dollar more. 100. And I don't shoot you. <laughs> so menacing. Clyde, pay your friend here. Mm. <sighs> Goddamn scum. <clears throat> Bye now. Be careful out there. This is nasty country. There. Don't forget to put some in the pot. Oh, of course. <laughs> like I told you, easy. Sure, I guess. I'm headed home. You coming? Nah, I'll see you later. Hey, no, I'll come with. What the fuck? Arthur. Thanks for the help with this, Arthur. Arthur, we gotta go back there anyway. <laughs> Alright. 
I'll meet you there, Uncle. Coming out the woods, light in hand, that's menacing, mister. Real menacing. You're gonna have to wait till evening again for that one mission. Which I shall do. Lenny! Lenny, go to bed. Hey. Hey, Arthur. We'll be ready for bed, so <laughs> we'll get some Z. Uncle beat me. I went. Let me sleep. Yeah, that was pretty rude of us. Come here, Arthur. <sighs> What do you want? Always full of sunshine, ain't you? Old Misery Guts Morgan. What do you want, Micah? Hmm. Well, I... I want a friend, Arthur. I want hope. I want tomorrow to mean more than today. I want this whole damn shit show to have some kind of meaning I haven't understood. <laughs> but I ain't holding my breath. No, yeah, I wouldn't. So? Instead of that, how about you and me go and redistribute some property? Redistribute? Yep. From the Bowles Overland Stagecoach Company into our pockets. And you'll fight this time? I always fight. No, you always talk. But with coaches, guns, 
are more significant than words. Oh, I'm fine with both, friend. Yeah. Come on, then. <laughs> you think we need an extra gun? Probably a good idea. Bill, come on. What are we doing? Coach, stick up. Well, excellent. I'm in. Micah and Bill. This is a death sentence. <laughs> There's a good spot where we can hit it as it comes over the river into the swamps north of here. You got an actual plan this time? I got three sticks of dynamite, I got two pistols, I got you and Bill. That count as a plan? Not really. I mean, well, let's go. better than some plan. <laughs> I'm joking. So, who told you about this? Please tell me it wasn't an old Driscoll this time. Nope, a man on the inside at Bowles Overland. You can keep your funny little station friend in Rhodes. I go right to the source. Why did he tip you off? Charm, Bill. Not something you can learn, I regret to inform you. Very true. You're your proof of that. Amusing. Charm. And a little money. Right. Right. Which I recovered the next day when he met with a tragic boating accident. See, I don't like leaving trails, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean by that? We keep leading trouble right to us. We're carrying too much dead weight. We need to be leaner so we can move faster, quieter. I prefer a tight crew, just five or six strong gunmen. Well, nobody's stopping you. There's a whole world out there. Go find the strong men you want and leave. Hey, I like you boys. And with the price on our heads, we are wedded in this chaos for better or for worse at this point. It would be a coward's move to bail on Dutch now. Not like John did. Heard about him disappearing on you fellas. For a year, wasn't it? Something like that. I don't trust him. I've been talking to Dutch. Feels to me like he's turned, challenging every move Dutch makes. I know you have your doubts about him too, Morgan. I got no doubts about John. I've known him 15 years. Well, if we really are gonna escape somewhere like me and Dutch have been talking about, let's cut across here, it'll be quicker. We're gonna need to cut some loose. From what Dutch says, the coffers are looking pretty good again. We could almost leave now if we chopped half the dead wood. We ain't doing that. I mean, why the hell do we need a gaggle of girls who won't even fuck you if you put a gun to their head? I'm sure you've tried. Is it too much to ask, considering they get a piece of every damn dollar I bring in? Everyone does their share. I don't see you lifting a finger around camp. Huh. Swanson does his share. Molly, come on. Swanson cooks. Uh, that's different. See, uh, uh, this is what I mean. I've always liked Abigail, though. That's my kind of girl. Sully, but strong. Well, I don't get the sense the feeling is mutual. You just don't understand women, Morgan. Okay? Here we are. I'll get the explosives planted. Coach should be coming through any minute now. Now, oh, okay. This encounter with Micah tell, told me so much. I did not have this. My first playthrough, I don't, I don't remember this one. This tells us so much about Micah and helps so much with the st some of the problems that I have with the story. The overall story is... is Particularly Micah in as regards to the main story. But no, this is a side mission that can be easily missed. I'll set them in the road over here so we can blow it as it comes over the bridge. Got some good cover over here. You hide behind this tree to my left, Morgan. Williamson, you take the other side. Try to stick. 
look out of sight. We don't want to spook them. Come. You gonna shoot the charges, Morgan? About time you did something. We get out of here. We'll split that up later. I trust you, Kalpo. Go on. See you back at camp. Not a bad take. And now we can do Sadie Ed. Great conversationalist right there. That's a good girl. You all right, girl. Young good girl. Let's brush Mama Clay too down. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Another was a friend of my parents. 
Did you know what those men had done? They had suggested that the men of the village demand a fair wage from the local Good there, old fella. Go to hell. After you, old fella. After well, I want to make sure I don't have to split with the gang. Always good to see. Hey, Arthur. Miss O'Shea. All my life, I think about this. Most people are thieves because they steal the lives and the hopes of others. Oh, don't gotta. All right. Leave that as is then. Already bought all the upgrades for the house for the camp. Done all the crafting upgrades too. Sure is nice seeing the kid back around. I don't know if I could have gone on much longer. <sighs> Mrs. Adler. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I, well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> now well, former mayor. Can. You get any leaks? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Miss Sadler, will you excuse us? When are you gonna let me come Robin with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. <laughs> a few more like her, there wouldn't be much of a world left. Yes, perhaps. Now, the trolley bus station. Oh, shit. I went down there. I took a look at it. I think we can hit it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make them change. Very funny. What is that? Oh. It's what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! Or this the boys are coming! I was enjoying a nice cigarette with my father figure.
I got this. Everyone accounted for. I think. Hey, I said it's everyone accounted for. That's Mrs. Adler. She's still out there. Cover me. Okay. Look what we got here. What an airport. Oh, hell no. You will let go, Mrs. Fucking Adler. Never mind. Gotta tell you, Mrs. Adler. So, except for Karen here. Rip. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, could you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the box. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. He saved my life. I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. Hmm. One way to That's put it. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Search in the uh, we'll do we'll do the uh That was me thinking we were a step ahead of the old Driscoll. 
Yes, I was almost starting to like that Kieran. And he saved your life. I know. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right. You okay? I will be. I always had a soft spot for that Kieran. I know you did. I'm sorry. All right, well, I should be getting on. Sure, okay. This has all gotten a little crazy. We need to find where those O'Driscolls are at and go hit them back. I don't know. I ain't sure that's the right move. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Arthur. <laughs> Mama Arthur. Easy, killer. That's rich for you. I think she likes me. Long time, girl. Yep. Well, I'll be right back. Um, I gotta check something real quick. Do this. Do that. Boom. Yeah, um, God, I haven't touched this sword until so... that did not sound right. <laughs> that was stupid of me. You want me to go down, bird? More cock? Badass, get over here. Look at that dump truck of a bear. Now don't you dare stop. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you want. Yes. Lucy and Lucy and I'm coming, coming, coming. Stop coming. Stop it. It's obscene. Yeah. More cock. More cock, please, sir. As you can see, I can't. I cannot, I, I can't read chat. I'm scared. I actually, oh. We should find Maggie. She'll want to know about the camp. All right, let's go find her. I'm a contemptible blood <laughs> who, who, who the fuck? <laughs> who the fuck writes these dialogue choice and is like, I know that. Yes, that line right there. I'm a contemptible blood pervert. I'm saying it. <laughs> Do not indoctrination. Surprise. Mm -hmm. What about that Leviathan? If I had an eye tracker, I would have been in type? trouble, Scout. It's some kind of creature. <laughs> Our field teams have been tracking it. That. That you. When you that that when you 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 know when you. You, you, I assumed you had already finished streaming. <laughs> and I'm not going to do the bitch play of hiding in a corner. No, 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 no. I did that the first time I played this game. That thing looks but like not it this worse time. Than Breeze does. I am a pro gamer, Ogdo. You could. have no power here. You can't even hit now. Fuck. Oh, he just hard. Pro fucking gamer! 
Oh, I remember this clip. The good one. I clipped this one. Oh, oh, am I? Oh. I'm a gamer. Oh. But I was told the moon was made of lady tears. Only it ain't? ain't true. Not Ooh. one little bit. But I like you boys. Damn, from my first playthrough. It's not. You want it or you want it? That didn't hurt a bit. Yeah. Shut up, me. Oh boy, let's see, after the trolleys, I think it's the bank robbery. We go straight from trolley to the bank? No, we... I can't remember. Mr. Well, I believe we've met. We have. At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Uh, I, I don't remember. At least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Well, uh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say... Uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? This is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen, yeah, we saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Well, you have great powers of observation. Yes, my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties, and those treaties were broken, and we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly, contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Well, obviously, they can't. <laughs> And even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, now, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. <laughs> How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. You meet my son in a couple of days near Citadel Rock, just west of the oil fields. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the Senator we should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. 
We must try everything. Come along. Hello, Mr. Miller. The counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How you living? As well as can be expected. You be Where the fuck do I gotta go? Not showing up. I guess I gotta go along Dutch. Great, okay. This should be this should go well. What 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 bad things could possibly happen? Hey there, mister. What the fuck happened there? Okay. I'm not a hater. What? I'm a sir. Keep walking. You're late. Well, days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific, an untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. Oh, well, we made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then well, we're done. Now we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on, ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now remember, we just want money. Don't Help make me. us kill you. Mr. M, leave these fine folks of their valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one dying. That's your choice. Not mine. Kindly open that gate and let my acquaintance inside. I said open the gate and let my acquaintance in. Yes, of course. Oh, he's 
folks must have some moan. Don't move a goddamn muscle. Why aren't you taking donations, Mr. M? Now, I'm gonna need everything you got on you. All right, there's everything, okay? Ruining my honor. Give me your money. It ain't worth <laughs> There's nothing dying. much here. Okay. What? There's I'm nothing sure. really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you. Behave. We don't want to hurt any of you. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Let's see about this. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! Yeah, there ain't much money here at all. There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. We got you surrounded! That Let's greasy son of a bitch, he set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go! Now! Go! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? you. We're moving.
they got any more cops. Killed. Keep that wagon intact, okay? We might need to... Get out of here, sir. No, we don't. Not anymore. Well, Dutch, that was a disaster. That went about poorly. I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, let's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Yeah, we each got... Fifteen dollars. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us. What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So... What are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Jose agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that! Uh, is that the I next don't feel mission? so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on, I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, can't win them all. Hopefully no bounty hunters come 
Look at all my ass. Bellies, your hog in the uh, road. We'll go ram a ranch pay off on a level. Be nice and clean. Came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. There's the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I... Sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in the wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the car. Mm-hmm. 
หนึ่งกี่ปีกี่ลอยYou fucking serious? I can't sneak there. I gotta sneak through the factory floor. You are quick. No, oh, you gotta be. This ain't a checkpoint. This is from the fucking very start of the. A dead. Why did it grip? Wrong pistol.
Diarathemis, so you sweep that forever dirty floor. These stairs totally would not be creaking under my weight. Good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No, nope. Danbury. Danbury? Danbury, you okay? Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just. I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Can loot it. All right. We. Hey, 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 hey! Hold it right there. Weapons on the ground and hands in the air. Easy now, fellas. Now we won't tell you again. Men riding fast, or eagle flies. They're coming after us. Helen, the fuck up. to watch some of that oil burn so you met mr. Danbury yes don't worry he was very obliging 
I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you. Oh boy, is it? Is it that mission time? Oh boy. Uh. You all right, girl? Yeah. Now I'm sure our bounty of $165 will we'll totally be fine. Oh, those are O'Driscoll's or the Moen Raiders.
Howdy, Dick. Arthur, come up here. Okay. You okay, Lenny? Lenny, this is the second time yeah. I've seen you in just your PJs. Today. Barely came out of one piece. Can't read that letter. All right, not that one. Oops, Jose, what are you doing? So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About uh, what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches, or deal with business the right way. We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Jose. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is Maria, out, hello, hello. we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've heard that before, and usually I've been right. <clears throat> if you say so. Sure, down, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. Oh, we gotta go. We're Bye. headed to a settlement called Le Gras. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hair. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See, I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Barely, Dutch. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Jose has lost his spine. This move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit... Coming in here. <laughs> And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of... 
pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. With all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really Tahiti. work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. This feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Thomas. It is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend... Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you're bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find it. Be lively. Mind it, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number, big ones. Great. <laughs> Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas, more of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. We call this ground, it feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Dutch, so you keep a lookout for company, Mr. Arthur. Check the traps with me. Sure thing, Thomas. This one's empty. All right, I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg, <laughs> Mr. Dutch. You show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunton. Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. Don't you worry, I've been round five. Waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peace. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folks sometimes. The night folk. Yep, some strange. I killed quite a few. Wider than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Whoa! 
Stop where you are. As a gator, just stay as still as you can. Let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find her. Nick. Give a hand here, Mr. Arthur. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. <laughs> Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull. But people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. All right. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good evening. Us or them? <laughs> exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. What? Someone there? Jules? Hello? Jules? Hello? Jules? Tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Mastiff, it nearly ate me. Uh, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. I ran. Okay, and uh, 
Where'd this monster swim off to? I think that way. Good luck shooting that thing. You'll need a cannon. I got the scare. It's over here. Stuck. Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now what? I think we hit a tree stump. Hey, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. We'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of cracked gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, mm. neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Jules, I'm coming. Oh yep, he he no. got he got no leg. Fire off a couple of warning shots just to pretend you care. Oh. My leg. Too good there. Here, take this. Try to stop the bleeding. You're gonna be okay, son. No. Oh. You're gonna be okay. Just thank you. His your leg is in Uncle Dutch. I heard that. This 
still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I've stopped the blade. I think you'll be okay. If he don't get a fever, we can bring down a fever. A fever is the least of our worries. Look who's back. God damn it. Put every bullet you got in him. Get ahead of us. You see him? Shoot. Okay, kid. Oh. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. <laughs> Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little one's angry. Big one's is lazy. Well, I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Lord. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Jules has been bitten. Oh, my God. There's a monster out here. He's been bitten, but he's alive. Just keep him warm. Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need me. Thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm going to head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Brunty. A bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. You got monsters out here. <sighs> well, don't I know it. Thank you, mister. Awfully mighty, mighty kind of you. Cleaning our guns here. But a bill. Thomas, 
Let's get going. Right you are. <laughs> hey, Bill, you were a sharpshooter in the cavalry, weren't you? What? When we get there, maybe you could help with the suppression fire. I never said I was no sharpshooter. Oh, that's right. W what was it? The nation's most loyal latrine digger, wasn't that it? <laughs> yeah, well, I fought, and I fought well. So you always tell us. You taught me something you could do with learning. <laughs> Them Indians were savages. Watch your mouth there, boy. Watch it. Only type of savage in these parts are moonshine, swilling, pompous, inbred locals. Dutch, I saw things out there. I don't doubt you saw things, Bill, but your tiny little mind was too small to comprehend what you saw. What you saw was people who lost everything to savagery, savagery of peasants. Failures come from Europe to reap some awful vengeance on God's last creation. Interesting way you boys got to prepare for a killing. I'm sorry I wasted my life trying to teach you boys. Love you though, I do. Well, love, leaving love aside, I... <coughs> you think we got this? Don't you never leave love aside, Arthur. It's all we got. Pick us up yonder. I got you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Come on, quick. Stay quiet. Lenny, Bill, you're with me. Arthur, John. You take the left side. If you see a shot, you take it. Okay? Good luck, gentlemen. Arthur, let's go. Come with you, Johnny boy. <clears throat> let's go. Can we be sneaking, John? John Marston? Find some cover. There's two up ahead.
Bill's dead. Oopsie. Shoot that lock, Arthur. Good. Now kick that damn door in. Before we lose Bronte, we got more inside. Name your price. Name your price. Every man have a price. Eh? Okay, okay. No, I surrender. I surrender. I... Should we kill him? Nah, let's take him to Dutch. You can carry him. I ain't touching that piece of shit. Let's go, Arthur. Like I said, you carry him. He had money on him, John. I think Dutch wants to have a little chat, Mr. Fonte. Kidnapping? No, I'm liberating. One sense of the word. Put him in front. Bill. Bill. You got him? Oh, come on, Lenny. All right, come on. Let's get out of here. Yep. Oh. Hey, big man, we gonna ransom you or what? Cause you're pussy. Well, I am. Cause from where I'm sitting, you're the one deserving of pity, my friend. <laughs> all your men, all your money, it weren't no match for a bunch of bumpkins. You are nothing. You do nothing, you mean nothing, you stand for nothing. Me, I run a city. <laughs> And when the law catch up to you, you will die like nothing. I am this country. You, you, you are what people are running from. 
I possess things that you will never understand. Oh, you don't even possess your own men. A thousand dollars to the man who kills him and sets me free. What are you going to say now? They are even bigger fools than you. No doubt. The law will find you. Already, the dogs are on the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're right. You are so right. <laughs> they are good at smelling filth, huh? So <laughs> filth has got to be this dog. Oh, Our friends of oh. are gonna come and rescue you, you oh. repulsive little maggot. Oh. 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 Call them now. You call them. Philosophy books cover feeding a fellow, the goddamn alligator, Dutch. The part that covers weakness. That part. I don't know. Well, I do. It ain't nice. I know it. But it is us or him. I figure it might as well be him. I fed a few feathers to some gators already. One was a pervert. The other, KKK. I think a couple Murphy too. Yeah. We got some bullet in my cap. Bullet hole in. Yeah, I got a fucking shotgun I don't fucking want. Let's do a reload. I'm telling you, Dutch, this is the way to do this job. The distraction will buy you all the time you need. I don't like it. The right plan. We're gonna work up in town, looking, watching, and and waiting. I've, I've tested it as well as I can. The right plan. We have a sawed off pump. Let's go to Guarma, boys. <laughs> Karen, Tilly, Abigail, I sent them all. They all say the same thing. There's no more than one armed guard. And the police? It's a city, there are police, but as far as we can tell, the patrols will all be going this way when Abigail and I cause the diversion. That's the opportunity. What do you think, Arthur? I don't see we have a lot of choice. If we linger around here, we know we're dead. But the plan? We got a decent bunch. We know how to fight. The city cops don't seem so tough as long as we move fast. I reckon doing it in the day with a distraction. If that's what Jose is saying. It's as good a plan as any. I, I think I agree. When we do it at night, there's the drama of just getting into the bank. Can't do that silently. No, pick us off far easier. I know. I'm, I'm just making sure. Every plan is a good plan if we execute it properly. Every problem we had was because we did not execute Properly. Even Blackwater, from my understanding. You're right. Let's rob this bastard. 
Everyone get some rest. We ride out in the morning. Look smart. Travel light. Look smart? I don't know how to do that. You got everything, Arthur? Sure. So, we rob ourselves a bank, and within six weeks, we're living life anew in a tropical idol, spending the last of our days as banana farmers. Let's get out of this godforsaken place and go rob ourselves a bank! Yeah! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Crack that whip, Mr. Matthews! This is it, gentlemen. The last one. Where have we heard that before? What has happened to you, John? You lost all your heart. I'm just trying to stay real about all this. Real? Oh, how I detest that word. So devoid of imagination. How soon are we shipping out? Soon as we get a passage organized. Boat down to Argentina, then another around the Cape. What about the money in Blackwater? We're just gonna leave that behind? Forget that. It's gone. You all talk like it's the only goddamn money in the world. We're gonna take that and more. Take it from the people who take it from us. This isn't some hick town hundred dollar operation. This is a big city bank. Right. With secure... The all right. Guards? Police? Hosea has done his reconnaissance. We've been over this. The plan. One the plan. Mm-hmm. Hosea and Abigail draw out the police. We go in calm and fast. John and Lenny secure the front doors. Javier takes the side exit. Bill, Micah, and Charles control the crowd. Me and mm, I don't know if we should trust with Micah with controlling the crowd. Got it? Got it. Got it. Yeah. Good. All right, that's enough talk. Gentlemen, let us go ahead. How long do you need? Not long. Fifteen minutes or less. There you go. Give us, give us a solid frame there. Good luck, gentlemen. Right on. Yeah. Everybody know the drill. We head in hard and stay calm. They won't be expecting us. Any minor trouble, head back to camp. We'll leave in a few days. You good, Bill? Sure. Then right on with Charles. We don't want to be seen heading in like some posse of country outlaws. This is it, cowboys! One more time! One more time. Let's ride! Yeah! We totally, you know, don't look ominous. Micah doesn't have the face of a killer. And I am totally not still wanted for 165 US dollars. There's Bill. Let's hitch up here. Vault action and robbing thieves. It ain't no crime at Man, all. Man, they fucking took away my fancy double barrel. Folk like this, they stole what this cunt. Stay cool, fellas. Back natural. Wait for Hosea to do his thing. This, this had better work. Looks like there's law over the other side. Have a modicum of faith, John, will you please? Soon as we get out, load everything onto the wagon here. <laughs> that big explosion. <laughs> he is a true artist. Let's 
What kind of mask is that? Who? Okay, now then, Arthur, would you please have Senior Bank Manager here open up the vault now, or you're a dead man. Open the vault, come on! for these safes. How about the combination? Got it. Okay, now, what's the second number? 72. All right, should be one more number. Last number. Come on. 54. Okay, I'm in. Would you look at that? <laughs> what did I tell you? That's not enough, okay. Dutch. I want more. Think we got a problem out here? Come out! It's over! Shit! Rip. Abigail! Dutch! Get out here! Get out here now! Someone must have squealed. Never should have gone after Bronte, Dutch. Mr. Milton? <clears throat> Let my friend go! For folks, they are gonna get shot unnecessarily! Your friend? Why would I do that? Come on, Milton. It's over. No more bargains. No more deals. Mr. Milton, this is America. This is America. You can always cut a deal. I've given you enough chances. Come on. I know how to climb a ladder. Oh, you calling a cocksucker?
control. Thank you. The others are trying to hold him off. Okay. Drop that man. No, you don't, sir. What you think? I reckon me and Lenny try and find a way across the roof, so if you'll cover us. Sure. Sure. Go on! Lenny! Josh? You got Lenny? I started pulling the trigger the moment I saw those fuckers. Sorry, kid. We're gonna have to jump. Arthur, go! Here goes! What are you? We gotta keep quiet and keep moving, or we're gonna be dead in the next few minutes. Follow me, one at a time. Arthur, you go next. We gotta keep moving. Quick and quiet. Come on. Don't believe it. They knew we were coming. Just like your ferry job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. <clears throat> what now? I don't know. I don't. This whole town is filled with cops. Well, how long are we gonna stay here? Well, a few hours? We go back to camp? They're gonna get every last one of us. I know they're gonna be watching the roads. I got it. A boat. What you mean? Oh, we stay damn. here till nightfall. Then we sneak on down to the docks. We get ourselves out of here. Yeah, well, where? Any place will do. That's all I got. We leave. We lie low. We come back for the rest in a few weeks. I'm guessing it's that. We die out there right now. Exactly. Now, everybody, calm down. I'm calm. You're not calm, bitch. I mean, look at us. Okay, follow me, and keep your heads down. Head for the docks. I hear voices. Tinkertons. Everyone stay down. The rats will have to come out of their old position when we should have had them in the last one. That won't happen again. They'll be got men on. Looks like they've stopped. 
We'll go through the train, Arthur. Come on. It's you. Follow when it's clear. Someone's coming. Guard to the left. Stay low. Someone's coming. Duck. Quick. I'm behind a chair. I hear someone coming. I don't see why we have to check the train. They just robbed Lemoyne National Bank. It's not like they're gonna take the first line out of town. But old Milton said. Milton said a lot. Come on, I won't be out here all night. these fellas. Arthur, head over to the water. See if you can draw them out. Draw them out? How? I don't know. Make a noise. Whistle or something. No one gonna tell me I did a fantastic job. Get in cover and stay out of sight. And they're not gonna know anything if I smoke some cigarettes. They won't smell the smoke. for no reason. Yeah, let me think for a second. I'll deal with them. What? How? I can't kill all of them silently, so when they chase me, you go the other way. What are you talking about? You heard what I said. Oh, I like it. Real <laughs> brave. What in the hell? Who is... Excuse me, buddy! Hey, stop! Stop, stop! That is one of the most beautiful acts I ever saw. Come on. We got some gold, I'm sure. Now, this boat ain't going to Tahiti by any chance. Hmm. I don't know. John, Lenny, Jose, that wasn't good. I don't know. So what are we gonna do now? <coughs> Guess I'm gonna introduce myself to the captain. Give him some of this gold to secure his silence and find out where we're heading. How do I look? Like a shifty, no good killer on the run from the law. Ain't that the truth? <coughs> Excuse me, sir. Hey, who are you? Forgive me. A stowaway. Can I see the captain, please? I come in peace. Well, it's 
gonna take a little more gold, but I think we're gonna be okay. This captain, he is a, a fine fella, a New Englander from the Cape. The rest of the ship is Frenchmen. They're heading Ew. down to the Stinky. islands, taking some Pennsylvania coal. Now, apparently, we're gonna be able to slip ashore in northern Cuba in a couple of days. That's so. Apparently. Yeehaw. What are we gonna do in Cuba, Dutch? Hold up for a while, then hurry back, gather up the rest of our family. At least we got some money now. Money and loyalty. With that, you can do whatever you please. So you reckon they'll follow us to Cuba? Like Colonel Waxman on a jolly? I highly doubt it. I reckon we hold ourselves to ourselves, and this is done and dusted. Let's hope so. I ain't no sailor, but, uh... <clears throat> that cloud look like good news to you? Oh man, I love this part where they go to Cuba and live a full life of love. I love this part where where Arthur, where Micah gets just just drowned. Now you would think a New Englander from the Cape would be better prepared for sailing into a storm. Out of hate for this chapter. Uh, it just sucks. It it kills the momentum of the story so hard. Like I understand, I know what they're, I get what they're trying to do, but it doesn't work. Like, maybe if it was something I can co come back to, like, was supposedly originally planned. Um, I would be fine with this, but the fact that we just come here for, like, 30 minutes and it's, it feels like a very slow, like, 30 minutes to an hour. I don't like it. Also, I don't know if there, there's a mission where you can rob a stagecoach with uh, Micah and Bill in Chapter 4. 
It's an optional mission that only shows up at evening in camp. I don't know if you did that one, but my first playthrough play, I did not do it. But doing it this one, I'm like, wow, this really helps contextualize Micah and the manipulation he is doing to Dutch. If only they put that in the main story. Better. We play ability? Nah. See, that was, that's one of those things where it's like, if I had played it the first time, it would have just, I wouldn't have thought much of it aside from, yeah, Micah's a piece of shit. If it had been a part of the main story, then it would be something specifically for replayability. But because it's an optional side mission that is extremely easily missed, because again, you have to show up at camp at a specific time to see it. Hello, my. I beat this game a whole ass year before you did, sir. You shut the fuck up, partner. You're alive, Arthur. You're, you're alive. Look at that belly. Look at that belly button on Micah. It is a miracle. It is a goddamn miracle. Here, have something to drink. Have a drink. Somebody yeah. give him a goddamn drink! Oh, son. Son, take it easy. Oh, we got you. We got you. Dibs on... on Micah's belly button, Clay? You can have it. So... Nah, you want Micah's belly button, I can tell. Where the hell are we? We are on the island of... Guarm. Javier asked the local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere it near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? I don't know. We've we'll become part of a chain gang. Well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. En cadena estos hombres. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. Why don't we let Javier do the talking? What's your name? Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No, I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. No harm will you. Vamos! That means move! Guys, I think uh, Dutch pooped his pants. Ditch, ditch wing, little poopy. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Levi Simon, senior overseer for Alberto Fusa. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. <laughs> And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. Well, how very upsetting for you. Not half as upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? You 
seem like someone or other. We was headed to Tahiti. <laughs> you was going the scenic route. Just as soon as I know exactly who you are, you'll be free. In the meantime, you'll not starve. Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la cárcel. Junto con el grupo de cucarachas. No, not the steam sale. I had picked up um, a good bit of games on sale like a month ago. And Dragon's Dogma 2. Aiden, I don't know. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck there. Dutch pooped his pants. For what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. <laughs> you and me both. Homie made his own shadow mommy, as he should. As he should. I just made. I just made a dude. Who are these? And people? then. Who knows. Well, they mm. got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dead. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuente. Muévate. Todos. Dutch, why do you walk so weird compared to everyone else in the chain game? I feel like you're putting more pain upon yourself by waddling like that. Oh, I'm about to hit the Gwitty. Enforcements. Monsieur, we need to get out of here. Now we're in trouble. Come on, come on, Fevi, everyone, follow me. Please, Fevi, come, come, come. Ah. 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 Javier! Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. There's a lot of them. Ah. What do you think? We gotta move, Dutch. Go. Don't lose face, son. We'll find you. Cooey, cooey. Go, go. Guns. I like guns. Got this thing. This gun sucks. I miss my guns. They're running away! 
What you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hecule Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusor? A tyrant. Driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Equa Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. They're little more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. Now Fusa's men are out hunting them down. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I am the only one who can arrange a boat for you. <laughs> but I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the fort. Could you help us get back our friend and get out of here? We will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, we will have him at Fusa's compound. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. Thank you. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well? Goodbye. If this is a tropical paradise, so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Continue on, Dutch. Micah, guard this spot. Bill. I don't know if I want his Audi belly button scouting. guarding me. Carefully. This is our, our our face is gonna peel terribly. Cattlemen over there. Yeah. Grab our veggies and our fruits and our beans. Damn. Oh, 
God damn it. Getting tortured again. You don't even give me enough time to answer the question before you smack me. Okay. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's still time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. But this, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need <laughs> this. Follow me. Stay close behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. No. Catch us. They'll murder the workers for sure. Who was that, sir? Shh. One of her kills men. Here I can't Quick. do a little stabbing. Hide. Una cosa. Mi abuelo siempre dijo que la Guarma era la isla de la que Dios se había olvidado. Y después de estar aquí un mes, entiendo a lo que se refería. No hay nada aquí. Hay que regresar. Tan solo tres meses más y a casa. Por favor. Ok. They both. Come on. Keep close behind me. Move where? I'm following you, fella. Hide, quick. Okay, follow me. Keep quiet. Se le pone tieso el tetito. On the other side of this door. You're talking rather loudly, friend. Ratas? Criado por el mismo diablo. ¿Qué tal va todo para allá? Ya casi acabo. Por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando, ahorcar es uno de los amigos. Va 
todo para allá. Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? Por mucho que disfruto bien un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso. You want to start killing, man. Toma demasiado tiempo. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. A ver si el gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hace. What the? This one moves way too fucking slow. Cause like, I know this game. This stealth shit doesn't fucking matter. In the end, I'm gonna get put into a fucking gunfight. My actions in this game don't matter. Let's go. Stay close. <laughs> Maldito bastardo. Thank you, my friend. I'm Baptiste. I work with Hercule. We owe you our lives. Yes. Thank you. My pleasure. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercule is getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. Good, good. Here, this is for you. Thanks. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Four fifty. God damn, they pay good over here. All right. Our duty it is. Let me grab my beans and my meat and my veggies and my fruits. All right, Dutch. Let's watch you kill an innocent old woman. So, uh, 
What's the plan? Well, I found the cave Herr Cool spoke of, and also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. The entrance is along here. Just watch your footing. So, uh, what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, we're gonna get the hell out of here. Yeah. Man, set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Uh, uh, get everybody together. Uh, and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. <laughs> you wanna go back to San Denis? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect it. That's the yeah. point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come back from the dead, gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. An insect bite you or something? Cause you gone, friend. We look like what we are. A bunch of desperado on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. A bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess that's what I'm afraid of. Hold on. Why? Gloria! Ay, estás tarde. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. Aquí. Dámelo. Oh, it's genuine, yo hag. No, nah, I don't trust her. You know what? I, I totally get it, Dutch. I get it. That gold right there. That's the last bit of gold I have in my pocket from the bank. The rest of it is at the bottom of the sea. Exactly. You know, wasn't Fusar one of the fellers Bronte pointed out to us? At the party in San Denis? Yeah. You're right. I knew I'd heard that name before. Yeah. So, I met up with Leon. That situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten. Poor bastards. No, that was me. Are you sure this her Q fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. Won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John and that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. See, that line is why I don't believe Micah starts snitching after Guarma. I fully believe Micah started snitching before, and maybe that was the original plan, and then when they got to Chapter 6, when they were writing Chapter 6, or somewhere in the editing process of writing the story, they felt the better idea is to have Micah actually... Because, like, there's no re right? There is no reason for the Pinkerton to lie at the end there. There is no reason for him to lie. So, like, it does not make... None of this makes sense unless Micah started snitching before Guarma. I'm curious if it be Bill. Nah. They...
I think I think that's just like they No, I, I, I don't I don't see that. No, nothing about like it, it's Bill doesn't spend time away from as far as I'm aware. Bill doesn't spend time outside of camp un unless he is brought out of camp on a mission with, like, Arthur or whatever, or he comes back and he's like, hey, Arthur, I'm doing this mission, you coming with or whatever. Um, Like, the few times we go on a mission with Bill. Jose... Jose, I don't believe, mainly because his, the, his love died before the events of this story. Um, like, the only person that it ends up making sense is Micah. Because, again, John and Abigail are also, like, always at camp. Uh, spe Abigail especially. Um, the only thing that they can put it is John made a deal with the Pinkertons in his year away. I still ain't sure what you're saying. But yeah, it does not. They something changed, or or they just forgot to edit a line there at the end. With the Pinkerton. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay then. <clears throat> just a, just a bit more. <clears throat> Baby. I don't like the old hag. This way. See, then you pay more. Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. Dutch, you could have just stabbed her, though. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was gonna betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Mayor, who told you now, about the bank? Shall we proceed? Um. Uh, yes. Listen. Probably. Son, you think I want any of this? I don't know. But of course I don't. I don't think the mayor. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive. No they wouldn't. Uh, the so both the mayor and the Italian guy are trace, out of the picture. It was in her eyes. By the time the robbery happens. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Art. <laughs> are you gonna strangle me next? I'm doing the best I can. you i come from mexico i never met those men does anyone believe him oh. mr simon doesn't believe you even the mule doesn't believe you eso no fue para tanto si que deja de actuar sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte fue bastante duro no la próxima vez será aún más duro Bueno, ha sido un placer. No, because even then, none of those, neither of those people know the movements of the gang. For it to line up. The only one that does would be Micah. They're all listening to that football. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. We need to deal with them. 
Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. On my count, you take the one on the right. I'll take the left. I'm gonna take his. I wanted his hat. One. Over here. Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. Yeah. Uh, you insulting my hat, bitch. It's going there. Why? Well, you know me, Arthur. We'll cause ourselves a little distraction and then poop. Because our distractions have always worked out well. Take the other side of this door. Tienes algo de tomar? Como sabías? Porque te conozco. Sí. Escondí una botella. Voy a buscarla. Gracias. Okay. You take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. Es una mierda. Es lo más bajo de una civilización. Over here. Hold on, I'll go get my shotgun shield. Bitch. Okay, now we need to create a diversion. Oh, uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> exactly. You any dynamite? Oh, no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace and lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> no problem. You'll see. <clears throat> Go close those windows and the doors. Go on, quick. There is no touch. This place is cold. Okay. <clears throat> we are nearly there. Right, get out of here, Dutch. to that building when it goes up. Me neither, partner. Come on, we can hide behind that well. We're gonna kiss. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Watch your back! Oh. 
Dead Eye Morgan. I don't have anything for Dead Eye. Where are we going, Dutch? Come on. Keep it moving then, mister. I totally know where the river is, Dutch. I know, I know this place well. Face you bitch. It's like I said, Pusar knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from America. That way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, my friend. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could leave right now. Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come, follow me. This is gonna be where I stop. Well, I'm gonna hope it saves. Damn! Got up to 65%.
Clay, thanks for hanging. I think anyone's live except Mikey B, and I don't want to raid with just two people. Um, let's see. I do have D and D tomorrow night, supposedly. Um, might just be more Red Dead. I don't know. I do not know. Partners, thank you for hanging. Um, yeah. Be live again probably Saturday. Goodbye.